I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. So this whole thing is kind of interesting. Okay, so recently, you we all know that um, Tia is the TikTok queen. Okay, she's going to be dancing, doing the moves, you know. She's doing all these different things. Um, something that obviously she loves to do um, all over social media, repetitively, constantly, uh, day in, day out, whether it is um, talking about or, or exuding how, you know, happy she is after her divorce, whether it's talking about what the streets is like or what dating is like or what dating is like, whether it's, um, you know, proving that she still got it, whatever the case is. We already know that she's always on social media and more power to her. Right. That's something that she likes to do. Cool. Awesome. What I found was very interesting is that when she released this video of, um, you know, she's in her her whole phase. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my whole phase right now happiness over everything where's your mind i thought it was very interesting because it came right on the tail of um what Corey was uh, talking about when he talked about how the divorce was and how he had been crying every night and all of that um you know it, it literally was like almost like a i don't know if it was pre-recorded or what but it was almost like a response to what Corey had to say within that video <laughs> You know, it's it's tough when it feels like you're going through something alone and, and no one understands and, you know, uh, no one's there for you. And it's just like, you know, you're a man, especially a black man. Like, oh, he's, you know, he's tough. He's strong. But you know, but, you know, it was a, couple, a year and a half crying myself to sleep every night. You know, nobody see that. Yeah. Nobody see that. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you, you, you live five minutes away from your babies, you know what I'm saying? Because people who know Corey Harder know that his kids and his family was everything to him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Yes. I'm really stronger. And that, by the grace, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, it's like, I'm here and I'm still going. Kind of like, you know, uh, purposely just, just uh, going for the jugular after that moment. And, you know, in, if you post a video, no matter if you say, oh, happiness over everything, or you try to uh, change the acronyms of the actual word, you know what it is going to be um, exemplifying when you say that you are in your whole phase, right? Nobody is uh, like, you know, asleep. Nobody is unaware of that. You're very aware of, um, you know, the backlash or the criticism or um, the way that it's going to catch people's attention, even just for the beginning of the video. And, you know, my personal opinion, okay, I'm just going to give you guys my personal opinion on the situation. I just think that there is always a vast difference between the way that Corey has responded to this entire breakup and divorce and the way in which Tia has responded and um, dealt with the entire situation. Headed to Jamaica. <laughs> Is this a solo mom day care or with the kids? With solo mom, with my girlfriends. My birthday's in July, so this is a birthday trip. And what do they say? Stella got a groove back? It's like Tio got a groove back. Take care of these babies. I love that. And I got to do God's mission. I love That's that. That's it. Now, granted, they are different people. They have different um, you know, emotions. They might uh, deal with things differently as a whole. Maybe that's why the relationship at, you know, all together didn't necessarily um, work out because of how um, vastly different they deal with certain situations. That could be a, a, a strong possibility. But I just think that there's a point where you realize that you are still constantly um, trying to uh, hurt this person even though you say that you're so happy and so evolved and that you graduated from the entire situation marriage was a success yeah i look at it as like a curriculum and at the end of that curriculum and at the end there's a graduation you know most women after they deal with a breakup or a divorce or uh, the the um ending of a relationship I always find that a lot of women go to the hands of social media because they will have a lot of people who are in the comment sections who are yes men. 
right? I'm not saying necessarily that this is exactly what she is doing, but I'm just saying overall, I've seen people in regular life, they go through a breakup or divorce and they run to social media. They run um, looking for that validation that they're still quote unquote that girl, right? They want the likes, they want the, the hard eyes, they want the people sliding back in their DMs. You know, they make it extremely clear how single they are. They want to show everybody like, yeah, I'm back out here. I'm back for the streets. Like they purposely put themselves on that display because they want some kind of again validation coming from social media these are my ladies girl, nasty, after the nasty girl. now i want to say this i said this in all of my other conversations i'm going to say it in this one as well i'm in no way shape or form saying that people have to stay in relationships when they do not want to again i think that if you stay in a relationship and you are miserable and you no longer respect your partner. You no longer are treating them the way that they deserve to be treated just because you want to bow out and go back to the streets or dismiss yourself from the relationship. I do not think that it makes sense to be in that relationship and, and make the other person's life miserable. I don't think that makes no sense. However, again, I constantly see that a lot of these women who are constantly chasing that outside validation, in my personal opinion, it exudes a lot of the reasons why the relationship did not work because maybe you were always looking to the outside. Maybe, just maybe, there were a lot of comparisons of what you were doing. Well, my relationship looks like this and I want it to look like this or my relationship looks like that and I want it to look like that. There are a lot of women right now who are in relationships that are beautiful, that are flourishing, that are growing at a beautiful pace, that are in it for the long haul, and they are on the brink of ruining it or they have ruined it just by looking at other people's lives and what other people have going on. They always, they're looking at what so-and-so's husband does for him. Oh, well, how come you don't do what Russell did? I want you to be like Russell. There's a lot of women who are doing these things. And I want also people to take um, to take note and keep in mind that, of course, celebrities are on big display. Right. Tia Mary is on big display. She's from ever since from sister, sister. OK, when your life is on full display like that, there are people who are watching you. There are people who admire you. There are people who watch what Tia has going on and are doing the same thing in their life. There are people who saw Tia and Corey get divorced and it looked like Tia was having so much fun out here on social media that they decided that they're going to leave their husband too. DMs that I have gotten from so many women that are going through the same thing and just saying how they admire my courage and my strength. Just think of the weight of that. That's how serious it is. Oh, you know, you, I, I, I'm so happy you left. You brave. You know, you so strong. Oh, you gave me the strength to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And when you get to the nitty gritty of that person's situation, wasn't nothing wrong in the, in the relationship. The woman was the problem. The man was still there willing to stay, willing to keep the family unit together. But she just, you know, uh, uh, miss the streets or she just missed being able to have no responsibility until she realized that her marriage wasn't the problem her family unit was the problem it was her not being able to compartmentalize that became the problem and then a lot of these women when they're single for a long time they realize oh wait it was me Nobody told me that I couldn't put myself um, first in certain aspects. Nobody told me that I couldn't go to the gym. Nobody told me that I had to, you know, sit up under everybody and watch them every five seconds and micromanage my household. Nobody told me I had to do those things. I was just doing it. Oh, so my husband wasn't the problem. Also, my children and my family structure wasn't the issue. I see it happen over and over and over again, a lot of women leave their marriages and they make it seem like they're having so much fun. They make it seem like they're having a blast. And then as time goes on, you see that um, if 100% of the women look like they're having a blast, you realize that maybe only 20% of them are truly having that, that blast. And 80% of them are, are uh, you know, strongly trying to fill that spot where their husband was. So what do you do for work? <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? Because <laughs> they want the companionship. 
then they find that they're trying to replace what they already had. I want a man who's going to love my kids like they're his. I want a man who's going to be there and support us. I want a man who, who is going to um, accept me and try to work through things and not run when the going gets tough. When they check that checklist, it's everything their husband was. Oh, at least I know Tia got my back, you know, to the grave. So I mm -hmm. know she's with me and she knows I'm with her. I purposely talk about these topics, whether it's, you know, um, Sierra Russell, Tia Maori, Jeannie and Jeezy. I purposely talk about things because, again, yes, I'm, I'm using these people who are in the spotlight for an example. But there are, again, people in real life. Um, who are mirroring their life off of these intricate details that they're seeing from people on social media who are superstars and they're trying to uh, follow the lead because, oh, it looks like she's having the time of her life. So I'm going to do that same thing. Only to find out that all the hurt has not been revealed. The exact and very reason has not been revealed. What is a what is the the camel that bro that broke the the straw that broke the camel's back for her may not be it for you. But real families outside of just this couple are being affected based off of this couple breaking up. I I I I want you guys to get my drift. When I have these conversations again, it's not personal. It's not a, a you know personal against somebody like Tia and Corey, against personal Jeannie or whoever the case is, whoever all the other people I talk about. It's not personal against each of these people. I'm using the scenario to talk about deeper rooted issues with other people. I hope you guys are catching my drift. Back to what she said about, uh, you know, <laughs> the her being in her whole phase and then happiness over everything with, with your mind at, whatever the case is. You know, what I think a lot of women don't realize is that other men watch uh, from afar, especially when you're in the public eye. They are watching you in the way that you are maneuvering after certain relationships fail. OK, they are watching from afar. This is the people that you might uh, want to pursue you. You might actually want to be in a relationship. Maybe men who have always been attracted to you and want to go ahead and take you out on that date. Like there are a lot of men who are in position who are watching these things. And a lot of women don't understand that the way that you treat the man who you were with prior is very telling for other men. There are men who will not pursue you just off of how you acted when you ended the relationship with that last man. Because they're like, oh, no, she's not going to disrespect me on social media. Oh, no, she's not going to be throwing subliminals to me on social media. Oh, she's not going to portray and act like, you know, I'm not that guy just because the relationship didn't, didn't work out and try to humiliate me every chance she gets. That's not going to work for me. There are there are men. OK, maybe if that relationship didn't work, whatever the case is, you, you know, you didn't want to keep your family together. It reached its mark. Cool. But if you wanted, if you're wanting to have different results in the future, you would want, um, you know, a lot of them like, oh, well, I just want to be myself. I just want to be fully me. And whoever going to um, um, be with me is going to have to accept me for me. But they don't know you yet. They know the image that you're portraying. They know the quote unquote jokes you're telling on social media. They know the subliminals. They know all the campaigns you're going on. That's what they see. It get it got worse. Yeah. But I feel like it's about to get worse off. I saw a lot of people in my comment section in my Instagram DMs and they were they were, you know, TMRE fans and they were tell they were going off, okay? They were telling me, "Oh, well you don't know why they got divorced. They got divorced because he was trying to take her money and they got divorced because he wasn't working and she was the breadwinner and stuff like that." You know, there were so many people saying so many different things. Um, there was people who even had some court documents and were talking about, you know, well, this is what she said. She wanted her flight miles and the divorce. I have to tell you this. Again, I'm going to say a lot of women will be in relationships with men and they don't understand the true magnitude or the true value of those men until the relationship is over. Once the relationship is over and they go out and they date other men, they realize how good they had it. Not saying that there's not good men out there, not saying that there's not um, other men who, who, who might see you in a different way and you in a different way and you possibly have a better connection. I'm not saying that. However, 
Most of the time when these women are in relationships or marriages for years, what this man was willing to deal with you with, what this man was willing to um, put up with, with, with the trials and tribulations or the, the attitude problems or whatever it is that you had going on that this woman was, that this man was willing to, um, uh, you know, work, work through the thick of it with you. These other men don't know you like that. They don't have no family with you. They don't have no, no, um, no dog in the fight. They might see one thing you do and say, oh, no, I'm headed for the hills. I can't do it. They're, they don't have that same level of investment. A lot of women trade the, the, the level of investment because of a rough patch or because temporary feelings, feelings that are fleeting because of, again, what other people have going on. I know a lot of women may not agree with me on this, but I'm going to keep it real. A man not being the breadwinner in a relationship is not the end all be all for everybody. I'm just going to be honest. Now, now Corey got all kind of jobs. He got a, a new movie. I think he on a sick, uh, like a show coming. Like he got all kind of stuff going on. There's times where somebody holds uh, more of the weight, especially if you're, if you're two people that are working. There's times that maybe, uh, th and it could depend on career, right? There might be a career where a woman is able to make way more money or way more, way more finances than her counterpart. Doesn't mean that he's also not working. Doesn't mean that he's also not pulling his weight to the best of his ability. I saw a meme um, on social media where it said uh, the woman had, um, I think it was $200. And the man had um, $80. And the bill for, for them eating was $100. And they asked, who's supposed to pay that bill? You want to see the list of women in the car? Oh, it better been him. Oh, well, why did he take me here if he couldn't afford me? There was no context. You don't know if that's her husband. You don't know if, if uh, he just lost his. You don't have no idea what the situation is. But at the end of the day, it's a partnership between the two of you. I always thought that it goes that whoever has money is y'all's money. So if he if you making 200 and he making 80, y'all have 280. But the, what I realized is that with a lot of women, there's not a lot of togetherness in relationships. There's a lot of I'm in a relationship with you, but I'm still kind of against you. I'm in a relationship with you, but my stuff is my stuff and don't touch my stuff. I don't see a lot of morphing, a lot of unison, a lot of uh, oneness. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, that's my husband. But, you know, if it wasn't for my husband, I wouldn't even, uh, you know, talk to men because I can't stand men. Men are beneath women. But I'm married. There's a lot of that. I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.